How's it going everyone? So for dinner tonight I'm going to cook up some lemon pepper popcorn crayfish with the craze that we caught this morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just boil them probably for three or four minutes. I don't want to cook them all the way through but just cook them enough to um, make them really easy to pull out of the shell. So I'll just snap their feelers off. Two, and three. Well, that's been about three minutes, so we'll take that out and we'll strain them off, and then we'll dip them into um, cold water to stop the cooking process. So while those crays are cooling down, we'll get the crumbing station ready. So we'll start off with the first bowl. I want a couple of eggs. Mix them up. And we'll just put in a dash of uh, milk as well. Next one, we're going to put some plain flour. And then in with the plain flour, we're going to mix some lemon pepper seasoning. Around. Right, and in our third bowl, we'll put some breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs would be the best. I haven't got any of those at the moment, so we'll just use these normal breadcrumbs. Right, now that our crayfish have cooled down, we'll take them out of the water. Take the tails off. We'll just cut down the center of the tail. Pair of scissors. We should be able to just pull, pull the shell off the tail. Right now we've got our tails out, we'll split them in half lengthways, get rid of the poo shoot out of them, 
Now we just want to cut them into sort of little popcorn-y chunks. So we're going to get our chunks and drop them into our egg mixture, just a few at a time. Make sure they get nicely coated and then pull them out and let them drain off as much of the egg as you can. Then put them into the flour mixture. Give them a good coat and flour. Then shake off as much of the excess flour as you can. Drop them back in the egg again. Give them a quick turn. And then drain it off. And then into the breadcrumbs. So I'll just show you another way you can do the crumbing. Um, and that's straight into the flour first. Then from the flour into your egg mixture. around in your eggs and then from here straight into your breadcrumbs With this method, depending on how much milk and egg you've got, your flour can wash off. So all your lemon pepper taste and that that you've got in your flour might not transfer through. So that's where the double um, egg in it can um, be slightly better. But really at the end of the day it's not a not a hell of a lot of difference. So it's up to up to you how you want to do it. The other thing is you can do is you can put lemon pepper in your breadcrumbs as well. Right, we'll head outside and fire up the deep fryer and try a couple of little bits. Right, oh, the fryer's hot. We'll just put a couple of small bits in there just to see how they taste. Here's some small ones. How good do they look? Right, I've got a little bit of um, mild chilli mayonnaise. So I'll screw some of that on. Mmm. 
crispy, tasty, absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's real good. If you haven't got a deep fryer, you can do it in a fry pan, just sort of shallow fry it. You're going to need about an inch or so of oil, um, but it'll still work exactly the same way. So tonight we're going to serve it just with a side salad, some dressing. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching, give it a crack. If you're enjoying my content, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support.